back to the Road to Episode 7, an ongoing series where I uh, chronicle the journey leading to the release of Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015, or so we thought. Um, it was merely kind of stated that um, the plan was for Lucasfilm and uh, Disney to release Episode 7 as directed by J.J. Abrams uh, in 2015, but no official date had been set. Um, they've now come out today on the uh, the 18th, uh, no, the 17th, it's past midnight here, on the 17th of April uh, 2013 at the CinemaCon uh, convention in Las Vegas that Star Wars Episode 7 will be hitting theatres in the summer of 2015, so that's really cool. And uh, what we we're all expecting, just a more official confirmation, no actual date set, but it will be in the summer of 2015. But the biggest thing to come out of this announcement is they've also announced that um, every summer after that will be another Star Wars film and that they will be alternating uh, between standalone Star Wars films and the episodic films. So we'll get episode 7 in 2015, a standalone film in 2016, uh, episode 8 in 2017 and so on. So the opinions on the, you know, the internet and stuff, the comments on the various sites I've read this news have been very uh, split. A lot of people have thought that it's great, the fact that it's definitely happening in 2015, the fact that we're getting more Star Wars films. Uh, a phrase I've been I've seen being thrown around a lot is oversaturation. Um, I guess I kind of agree, they might be running it into the ground a, a bit much to be releasing a Star Wars film every year, and people might be thinking that they won't put as much effort into it. But I think, if you look at it this way, um, the traditional thing for you know the original Star Wars films was for a film to come out every three years. And then the same with the prequel trilogy, but I think, you know, back in the 70s, the late 70s, early 80s, it, it took a lot to make those films and put all those special effects into them. And in the early 90s, late 2000s, uh, digital kind of technology was really kind of really booming at that point. But by this point now, it is a lot easier to make a film uh, with a lot of d uh, digital effects and so on. And hopefully they'll go for more practical effects, we don't know that yet. Uh, although I'm sure, really, honestly, it is going to be loaded with CGI effects. Um, I'm confident that they can release quality films every year. I mean, who knows? It depends on the writer, it depends on the director, it depends on the story, the promotion, all that kind of thing. But for me, honestly, I just... I want to look on the, the bright side of this. We're getting more Star Wars films. And um, at least the, the episodes, you know, episodes 7, 8 and 9 are going to have a two-year gap between them. And uh, maybe those will be the big event movies, and then standalone ones will be maybe lower in, you know, lower key kind of films maybe, at least in terms of episode 7, because it's such a huge thing, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, glad that it is definitely coming out in 2015. Um, it's been a month since the last video I did on this series. Um, no news really, um, still no confirmation on Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford or Mark Hamill. Uh, there was a little bit of a, 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 a sliver of information from uh, Harrison Ford and he was interviewed and basically said that um, he didn't say that he would not do it, basically. Uh, so, take that for, for what it's worth, I guess. Um, but it's been a month since the last episode of this series, and there'll be another one this week, because I wanted to talk about the demise of LucasArts, the company that um, released not only Star Wars games, but other games as well, in the 90s, and so on. And throughout, in fact. So I wanted to talk about that and share some of my memories with uh, some of the great games that LucasArts put, LucasArts put out. Um, and I'll be using footage from games that I really enjoy and stuff, so I'll be putting a bit of extra effort into that one. And there'll also be another tribute because another member of the Star Wars family has passed away, so I'll be doing that in the next uh, installment as well. So that's all for now. Going to keep this one short. Really looking forward to Episode 7. Uh, obviously, this is the road to Episode 7. And uh, I'm, I'm keeping a, an optimistic mind for the future of the films and seeing a Star Wars film every summer. I mean. Uh, Disney are now uh, helming Marvel, and Marvel are putting out you know, pretty much a film every year, so I'm confident, and uh, hopefully it won't, as people have been saying, oversaturate things. Thanks for watching.